Venn diagram, be not afraid. Venn diagrams don't really work past three circles. Four circle Venn diagrams are problematic because they don't include the intersections of opposite circles without also including some of the other two circles. In this example, there's no AC or BD because they're on opposite sides. The problem only gets worse with more circles. You could solve this problem by using different shapes, like ovals. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Oh, is that you, Patrick? Be not afraid. What is this just mass of just pain and... Oh, I'm pretty sure none of that doesn't even work. Someone just saw this and just went, I'm going to run with this. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Calbus. my name is Zen, and today we're taking another delve into the wonderful world of r slash Tumblr, your one-stop shop for everything Tumblr without having to go to Tumblr. Call it Tumblr Lite, you know, diet Tumblr. It's fine. Let's just jump in, shall we? See blanky. This helpful stingray offered itself up as a tent for a diver who decided to have a lie down on the seabed at Grand Cayman. Blanky. It's a sea blanky. That... <laughs> I'm, I'm not so sure either that thing's like, you look cold, I shall provide you with warmth here. Or it's just like, either one is going to go a little bit humpy, or two, it's going to be, you ain't going to escape. I, I'm, <laughs> hmm, I'm just going to think it's giving nice little warm hugs. That's fine. Moving on. If you saw this and thought I was going to make a joke at Steve Irwin's death, absolutely not. The man was a treasure. I would never sully him. And then you thought there was going to be a joke there as well, didn't you? <laughs> Subverting expectations. No, seriously, it was a treasure. Why would I? Why would I? Moving on. Dude, reblog if you have used dude as a non-gender specific term. Where I grew up in California, California, where I grew up in California, not only is dude generally non-gender specific half of the time, it doesn't even refer to a person at all. I said it to a faucet today. Having also grown up in California, I can attest that dude can be anything. Males are dude, females are dude, my phone is dude, the cat over there, it is dude. The green light that only lasts long enough for one car to pass is dude. I have called my head, dude. I have called my coffee maker, dude. The entire population of the world and all of their belongings are all dude. Yeah, straight up, I use dude way too much. I Way too much. And I'm from Scotland. I, I don't even know how I got... Oh, wait, American TV. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I figured that one out pretty quick, didn't I? No, yeah, it's, it works. It works. Dude is just the perfect term has so much meaning you can put it into so many different scenarios and it just works it just works one giant yeet for mankind being a kid was so freaking funny we just go around lying to each other's faces constantly to impress each other one of my classmates told me he was the first person to visit the sun and when i asked him what it was like to prove he wasn't lying he said he didn't remember because they sent him there when he was just a baby and to this day the mental image of nasa launching an unsupervised baby into the sun still makes me crack up use punctuation <laughs> Oh my god. Children will say anything to get the attention of others. Somebody else did something interesting and cool. Amazing. You want that attention. Now you will lie. I went to the sun because NASA needed a baby. Does that sound plausible? <laughs> they won't know. Yellow, blue, red. All right, everyone. I need your opinion to see if it matches mine. What color is A? One triangle. Two, a circle. Three, a square. Wassily Kadinsky at Weimara Bauhaus. It's been 100 years, so I guess we can do this discussion all over again. Uh, what? What am I? What am I? What? Okay, well, triangle would be yellow. Uh, circle would be yellow and square would be yellow. My logic? Triangle, the pyramids, they are yellowish. Circle, the sun, it, we perceive it as yellow or orange. Square, uh, 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 microwave when I'm looking in and watching my food rotate. <laughs> it's got a yellow light. <laughs> Be not afraid. That's the second one that's been titled that. Today I learned there's a Cyrillic letter so rare it is only used in the phrase many-eyed seraphim. And it looks like this, aka the only possible appropriate character for talking about angels. <laughs> if somebody is curious, this is how multiocular O looks in the Book of Psalms in the 15th century. Ha! Huh? That's, that's a form of tryptophobia right there. And also, biblically accurate angels, yes, it is very fitting. Actually, I like this. This is really cool. <laughs> God, in one sentence? Ah, that's so particular. But it's also the kind of thing that once you see it, you're probably not going to forget it either. It's just one of those things, you know? A correct assessment. 
Thinking about my optometrist who was treating my eye infection said, if it hurts, you can rinse your eyes with boiled water. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to understand that I mean water that has been boiled and has since cooled down. Not boiling water. Do you understand? Like, I'm so grateful for this man ensuring that I wouldn't destroy my eyes by pouring boiling water in it because it is an adequate assessment of my intelligence. This is a man who has experienced the public. Look at me. That's a very fitting sentence. That's a very fitting phrase for an optometrist. Uh, <laughs> but no, yes, the for people that have experienced the public, you gotta be specific. You have got to be specific and hold their hands through the process. Otherwise, if they do something stupid, they're going to blame you. And trust me, they're going to do something stupid. <laughs> oh my god. With the Christmas period coming up, oh, my heart goes out to everyone with like public facing jobs at the moment, especially retail. Oh, hang in there. You got this. Someone had too much of the slutty spider drug. Do not fursuit in the woods at night. It's hunting season. This is no joke. Stay on the marked hiking paths. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right. I didn't think I'd be reading something like this today. Actually, no, we're on Tumblr. Please stay safe, cubs. Who out there shooting purple deer and bright green foxes that walk on two legs and have big old toony eyes? Nearsighted hunter who relies on his other senses to identify his prey. Call in mockery. No, hold on. No, hold on. No, 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 no. Considering some of the fursuits that I have seen, their designs are essentially built in high-vis jackets. They're going to be safe. They're safe. <laughs> Who's going to be like, I see a high-vis jacket. Target acquired. I don't know how it works out there, but you don't aim for the high-vis normally. <laughs> Damn, what a mum. A mum helping her kids beat a hard level in Super Mario Land 1990s. This is a renaissance painting. Yeah. Wow. 19... Wait, Super Mario Land came out in the 19... Yeah. Oh my God. I remember playing that. In the back of the car, on when we were like traveling down south to visit family, I would play... I just have the old Game Boy using the streetlights at night just to be able to see things. I was just playing Super Mario Land. It was a Jurassic Park game, which I could never beat. I could never beat that damn game. Oh. Ah. Uh, God. Oh, man. Wow. This... This has taken me back. <laughs> Ooh, but look at the picture. It's so wholesome. Like all the little kids are just like, oh, he's, she's gonna do it. She's gonna do it. And it's like, oh, that's so hype. And she's she's in the zone. That is a true gamer stare right there. Instinctive witchcraft. Imagine having a kid, not involving them in or even really teaching them the concept of organized religion and just going along with whatever weird pagan crap that kid starts doing naturally. Like, you can go check what that kid is doing, and they're burying an apple in the garden. You ask what they're doing, and they're just like, The moss man makes frogs in the garden. If he gets an apple, he'll make me more frogs. Because you've never laughed, or taught them that doing weird crap like that is in any way bad or negative, so they're not hesitant to tell you, or try to hide it. And you're just like, Oh yeah, food sacrifices for household spirits. Very sensible. Do you think he'd appreciate a little shrine? Hashtags childhood superstitions are actually something that can be so spiritual. There are many ways that I could take this post. I could bash on multiple things. I could encourage multiple things. The main thing I want to really talk about is that kids' imagination is incredible. And just a lot of things that happen in the world at the moment. And as we grow up, a lot of that imagination is gradually just chipped or even straight out pounded out of a child being able to just nurture and let that kind of thing grow and just let it run wild and and maybe a little bit of guidance if where they're going mentally is just a little bit dangerous kids can get weird <laughs> but no no the world needs more imagination it needs more creativity a lot of it is just removed through growing up we need more of it <laughs> and not just any ordinary swords whip swords oh i'm in i'm in on this one already hello it's not realistic for two characters to talk in the middle of a sword fight. Uh, cool, I wrote it in anyways because it fricks severely. Hey, have you ever fenced before? No? Then shut the frick up, you wouldn't know. Ask a fencer. I'm going to write six more mid spa arguments just to piss you and only you off. I'm imagining this conversation happening while they're fighting with swords. <laughs> 
Hey, look, I'm just saying a little bit of banner, a little bit of sword banter as you, you know, touching tips and you're just uh, swinging around the metal stick. Just a little bit of banner. It just makes the whole experience just a little bit better, you know? Just mm, bring in the audience. Petition to make it happen. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Isn't even a Christmas song. Doesn't even mention Christmas once. Just a dude dragging the hell out of the Grinch for three minutes. Could be played on the radio year round, but we don't want it. We don't want it. Look, look, Christmas stuff starts popping up even before Halloween does now in the shops. That's ridiculous. There's like two main holidays, especially in America. There's like Halloween and then it's Thanksgiving. I get that Christmas is like a lot of people's favorite holiday and they like to revel in it. Yeah, it's great. That's that's wonderful. But please, <laughs> why does it don't don't make it take up like a quarter of the year at this point? Come on. I've already got a list to listen to Mariah Carey on repeat in the goddamn car on the radio because she's thought out it's time for her to perform working christmas retail in a store really destroys you your soul <laughs> when you have to listen to christmas songs on repeat things not to ask vets how many people have you killed why couldn't you get into college what's it like living with ptsd things to ask vets want to go grab a beer for one long and terrifying second i thought this meant veterinarians i was in the same boat I was in the same boat and I was getting a little bit worried there because what kind of vet are you going to go see? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> walk in. Hey, I think I think my dog might be ill. Just cock shotgun and points at your head. No, I'm good. I'll, I'll go to one down the street. Draws a gay little clown that you off. Excellent self-portrait, my lord. Good sir. It seems that you might have been a little bit incendiary towards yourself. You have burned thyself. You little cock weasel. What the... My brain has gone marble mode. I'm completely smooth brain now. <laughs> I'm just going to end it there. And that's all the time we have for today on Calbus. If you like the video, consider dropping a like or maybe even subscribing. Or hey, maybe even sharing with a friend and injecting a little bit of Tumblr into their day. If you want to see some more r slash Tumblr, then stick around just a couple more seconds because another one will be popping up on your screen. But on that note, I have been your host, Zen, and I hope to see you in the very next video. Have a great rest of your day.